Another day trying to get the ever forward moving forward, the massive effort to get that stuck ship loose in the Chesapeake Bay. Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to WJZ News at 5 and all of you streaming us tonight. Listen, as we come on the air for you tonight, the effort to free that massive cargo ship, it is finally happening. Yeah, we've been following the story for weeks now since that ship first got jammed and we were the only station to go out and about to see that ship up close with the Coast Guard. WJZ live at 5 o'clock tonight. Avajoy Burnett tells us teams have run into some roadblocks now. Avajoy, not what we want to hear. Rick and Nicole, we're just getting some new information in from an official who's been a part of this process for several days now. And they told us after four hours of the tugboats out there pushing and pulling, there is, quote, no indication of movement with this vessel. Of course, this is not the news that officials and everyone who's been watching this wanted to hear. And it turns out that Mother, Mother Nature might be creating an additional obstacle. Five tugboats, a fraction of the size of this massive cargo ship, have the oversized duty to pull the vessel out of the mud it's been stuck in. So the hope is that uh, using tugboats and, and a combination of pushing and pulling that uh, we can essentially slide the ship off the ground. The Everford got stuck in the Chesapeake Bay in about 24 feet of mud in mid-March. As the ship traveled outside the channel, it almost buried itself into the in, into the bank. WJZ was the only station to go out onto the water with the Coast Guard as engineers and investigators tried to literally get to the bottom of why the vessel got stuck and how to set it free. So the vessel, it's kind of like a skyscraper on its side. It's more than a hundred stories long. Days of planning and then action meant crews had to dig out 84,000 cubic yards of mud from around the vessel. The Department of the Environment said that's about 27 barges worth of mud. But even before the tugboats could attempt to pull the ship out today, Mother Nature added another roadblock. We're still under blowout tide conditions from the north winds basically pushing the waters out of the bay, so tides are lower than what would be normal. If all the elements come together, the Everford could start floating again. Just about a year to the date after another vessel like this that was stuck in Egypt's Suez Canal was freed. How significant is an operation like this? You were out there the other day with us to see the size of the vessel. You know, trying to move something that's that big obviously is a monumental task. Now, we were told that the crews will continue to be out there later on this afternoon, and hopefully we will get some additional details. But as of now, after an hours-long operation that started around noon today, there's no indication of movement with this massive ship that is almost 1,100 feet long. If this operation doesn't work today, they're going to give it another shot next week, early next week. And then if that doesn't work, they will start the very tedious process of unloading those massive containers that are on top of the ship. There are 47 or 4,900 of them. It's not clear, though, if they will have to remove all of those. But one step at a time, and we'll keep you posted. Back to you.